In this video, I'm going to tell you why most meditation methods don't actually relax you the way they should. And also, I'm going to give you one easy method to boost your meditation practice. Any meditation practice, doesn't matter which one that is, like Zen meditation, mindfulness, transcendental meditation, centering prayer, or advanced Kundalini practices. It works with all of them because what they all lack is grounding. Most meditation practices that we know were invented in a time when people were grounded naturally. I mean, a few hundred years ago, life was way more physical than it's now, albeit in, in ancient India or Japan or anywhere. Life was a struggle for survival and you had to do a lot of physical labor in order to do you know, almost anything. You traveled any distance on foot or on a horse, which is exhausting. If you were thirsty, you had to go to the well. If you wanted to eat bread, you had to bake it yourself. And even if you wanted to make a cup of tea, first someone had to chop down a tree to make a fire. And, and when you're leading such a physical life, it's almost a given that you are grounded. So any meditation practice could focus mainly on your head and your heart. And you will be balanced by that, you know, right away. But look at us, modern people, we are behind our laptops all day and our phones and we call that working. And we're sitting and talking hours and hours, all this mental input all day long. And before you know it, you're practically living in your head. Now, Taoists call this fire energy. It is a warm energy that moves upwards very quickly into your head, as opposed to water energy that's more cool and flows downwards and makes us more grounded. So if you do these ancient meditation practices, they're almost all of them focused on this you know, fire energy. That's mental or emotional energy flowing upwards. And that even, even causes burnouts, literally, you know, too much fire. So if you want to meditate your stress away, chances are you're going to make things worse because if you're not grounded, stress cannot leave your body through your head. Even if you do a lot of fitness, it's usually not enough to open the right energy channels again and start releasing stress from your body. You need more than that. And over the years, you your body has become like an electrical wire that is not grounded. So the energy is jumping up your body and it gives you headaches and you can't stop your thoughts. And before you know it, you start worrying and you get anxiety and sleepless nights. And I had all of these when I was not grounded and you will get health problems. I mean, I had gastritis and all kinds of stress related symptoms, even though I meditated two hours a day. So now you're going to say, well, that's all great, but I like my meditation and you should because meditation is great and I, I highly recommend it. And almost all methods will silence your mind or open your heart, at least temporarily. The only thing I'm saying is that you should combine your meditation method with some type of grounding. Like I do, I still practice Kriya Yoga together with my Taoist practices, which is a perfect combination for me. Even though Kriya Yoga focuses mainly on your fontanelle in the head, still, you know, I can do it as long as I want because the Taoist practice gives me balance. So how about grounding? Well, how do you do it? Well, walking barefoot or enjoying nature is not enough. Also, buying some fancy equipment is not going to help you ground yourself if your energy channels are not open. But the good news, it's very easy to ground yourself once you know how. And that's why I created the online course Ground to Relax. So if you haven't done my free training to start grounding yourself, that might be a good place to start. Just look for the link below or above I never know where these things are and just download the video for free because if you want to relax deeply, by all means, keep meditating, but start grounding yourself today.